understand health as comprehensive physical, social and mental well-being and not only the absence of illness or disease. We want every person and especially people in crisis situations to be able to achieve the best possible state of health without distinction of ethnicity, religion, political conviction, economic or social status. We support health systems in various countries so that quality care can be provided in facilities and hospitals that is affordable to the population. After natural disasters or in conflict situations, it is sometimes a matter of providing rapid medical care to the injured, access to psychosocial support or combating epidemics. Those can quickly spread in the case. At the same time, however, we always uh, place a special focus in our projects on healthy living conditions and measures to prevent disease, because this, is, this can already prevent a large proportion of illnesses and in the best case people don't even need to go to the doctor or hospital. In concrete terms this means, for example, that we improve uh, the water supply in villages and uh, support people in the constructions of latrines so that they can adopt hygiene behaviour that protects them from a variety of diseases. Food and nutrition also play a crucial role in a healthy life while acute malnourished children are treated in health facilities or in hospitals. We also work in the long term with populations to improve their food and nutrition security, for example, through improved agricultural methods and the access to seeds and tools. Of course, um, it still happens that people get sick and need to seek medical care, or in the case of, of childbirth, for example. In some countries, such as South Sudan or the Democratic Republic of the Congo, the risk of dying when giving birth is extremely high, both for mother and the newborn. This is just because quality care is simply not available in the event of complications during delivery. By providing the necessary equipment, supplies and training to health workers, we can significantly re reduce the risk of mothers and newborns dying from such preventable causes.